This focus on material progress and productivity, what's the cost of that? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And Netflix just dropped a brand new trailer for a documentary called Take Your Pills. This is a documentary that comes from South by Southwest, and it's all about the Adderall problem in the United States. So I'm really, really excited about it, especially because I literally just did a video about the Adderall problem and overprescribing Adderall, like, two days ago. And if you haven't checked out that video, it'll be linked up in the info card, so make sure that you go check it out. So this documentary looks really, really interesting. It looks like it focuses around the Adderall problem on college campuses, as well as the Adderall problem with young adults. And they kind of go hand in hand. So it talks about students who are being prescribed Adderall and trading Adderall or selling Adderall. And one of the reasons that college students abuse Adderall is because it helps them focus, it helps them stay up late night, it helps them um, study longer and you know, hopefully pass tests and get better grades. But there's also a major issue on college campuses with Adderall because a lot of people use it as a sort of stimulant for when they're drinking. The problem with Adderall is, is that when you're drinking, it lets you drink longer, but your body doesn't necessarily know how drunk you are, which is why one of the leading causes of death on Adderall is alcohol poisoning. So I'm really interested to see if this documentary touches on that, or they're gonna focus more specifically on the Adderall problem in general. So something that I've been talking about a lot lately too is our disconnection from meaningful values. And one of the things that this documentary is focusing on is how you know, people are justifying. They're justifying their Adderall use because it helps them study, because it helps them get better grades, because it makes them a quote unquote better employee. There's even a quote from the trailer that says this. The perfect employee is somebody that doesn't say no. There is a culture of you do stay up 16 hours for seven days straight. Like that's bananas. And that's one of the reasons why, one of the many reasons why our country is so messed up right now is because employers are demanding more and our idea of happiness is this crazy version of success. So we're willing to put our own mental health, our own physical health at risk in order to work these 16, 17, 17 hour days. Um, like that clip just said, like nobody wants an employee who says no. They want somebody who says yes, 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 yes. But that's not what we as humans were designed to do. This is why you see so much depression and anxiety going around is because people are putting all of themselves into their work. I've mentioned in videos in the past that people are working longer hours than ever before because of these things right here, these little cell phones. The, the average time that we check our first work email is about seven o'clock in the morning, and then by the time we stop quote unquote working is like nine o'clock at night. So like we are working insane amounts. So young people are justifying their Adderall use and their Adderall abuse because it helps them work even longer hours. And it's nuts because they're chasing after these things. They're chasing after status, they're chasing after money. And the problem is it's like, what good is all the money in the world if you're gonna die at a young age because of the health problems that happen? That brings us to the next clip where they talk about how like people will legitimately have seizures because of exhaustion. Like I always try to like help relay this information to you. Adderall falls into the prescription drug category of amphetamines. This is a slight variation from methamphetamines. Like if I told you that that guy over there takes meth, all the time so he can work longer hours and study better in college, you would call him insane. But if I told you that he was taking Adderall, you would say, oh, okay, he probably has ADHD and it just helps him focus. Like, to me, that's bananas. Now, don't get me wrong, I mentioned in my last video, there are people who have problems with the way their brain works, so Adderall does help them. But like I mentioned in my last video, only 5% of people actually have ADHD, but we're prescribing these medications to 15 percent of people like one of the issues with the opioid epidemic is that it's kind of clouding all of the other issues and Adderall is one of the major ones so it looks like in this uh, trailer they're going to talk 
to a bunch of people. They're going to talk uh, to doctors and sci scientists and psychologists and people who have struggled with Adderall addiction, but they're also going to talk to people who say that Adderall has legitimately benefited their lives. So I'm really interested for this documentary. So I will be doing a review of this documentary when it launches on March 16th. So make sure if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so you can watch the review of this video. And I want to hear from you. Leave in your comment down below. Are you going to watch the new Netflix documentary, Take Your Pills? I want to hear from you. But that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video, share it with other people so maybe they watch this documentary and learn a little bit more about Adderall, okay? But if you'd like to check out some other videos, click or tap right there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Stay kind to your fellow humans today and I'll see you next time.